A nice feature in LT Spice is that you actually can annotate nodes with the operating point potentials. But so far I thought that there was a, a small shortcoming to this solution. I sketched up a common emitter amplifier here around our all-time favorite 2N3904 transistor and I was aiming for an amplification of 15 times. And uh, so what my students now should do for an exercise is to actually see that all the potentials in all the nodes are as expected. And for this you actually can just point your cursor onto a node and if you have already run the operating point simulation as I have done, then you will see the value in the status line down at the bottom of the screen. But they only see one value at a time and then if you change something in order to correct for it, uh, then actually you have to find the node and point it there yourself again. But what you can do, and this is something my students found out two years ago or something like this, is you, you can highlight or you can annotate the node permanently with the potential, with the operating point solution. For this you right click on and then you place the op data label here. But the problem as you can see is that it outputs an yeah, incredible amount of decimals, which is com not only completely unreasonable, but it also takes a lot of real estate and space on your canvas. So what you can actually do, and this I found out by accident earlier this year, it might be documented, I don't know. You right click and then you can actually edit the expression to display where the dollar aliases to the potential at the current point, but you could actually put in any other value as well. But what you can do here now is you can actually write that you want to see the rounded value of, for example, if you want two decimals, this value times 100 divided by 100, a trick which I know since my old basic times on the Commodore 64 to actually get significant decimals. So if we enter this, then now we see that the potential here is 1.66 volts. Um, up here it is already a round number because this is just supplied by the 47 volts. The collector potential we can also plot. I was aiming for 4 volts and as we see I was completely able to get this. The R is missing here. Uh, times 100 divided by 100. So it's 3.95 volts here. The emitter should rest at around 1 volt. Um, it is yeah this incredible number here, but we can do round of the value times 100 divided by 100. And it's still now blocking the node label collector behind it. What I've what I sometimes do is that I then extend a small line here and move this annotation mark over here, then it's lost and then I put it here and then we have it readable. Um, not so interesting, but uh, the, since this is just a voltage device, we can also put and have a look here. So, so this is the original format with a gazillion of decimals and this is the rounded values.